Good afternoon folks. Here's five top tips with how to stay on track with your diet. Number one, prepare. Make sure the things that take the longest to cook in your diet you have readily available. So we're talking usually protein. Make sure you've batch cooked up some protein, popped it in some Tupperware, and just have that to hand so that you can guarantee you're boxing off not only calories, but you're boxing off your protein as well. Number two, plan. Jump on MyFitnessPal the night before and map out your day's nutrition for the following day. So what are you having for breakfast? What are you having for lunch? Can you map out what your dinner is going to be? Can you map out what your snacks are going to be and when you're going to have them? What kind of drinks are you going to have tomorrow? If you go into the day already knowing what you're going to eat and what you're going to drink, it's so much easier to stay on track with your diet because not only do you know what your next meal is going to be, you probably know when that meal is going to be too. Number three. Have a backup plan. Life doesn't always go to plan. Shit gets in the way, stuff gets busy and you go, oh my God, I've got dinner. Make sure, just like my babies have these as a backup when we don't get a chance to cook their proper meals, make sure you've got some ready meals in the freezer. Something you can turn to which is minimal effort, which is pretty quick, so that you're not gonna suddenly dive into the treat drawer because you haven't got some food there and then, okay? So buy some low calories, some good nutritious ready meals and bung them in the freezer. Number four, slutty foods. Make sure you have these guys in your diet. So we're talking the chocolates, the sweets, the crisps. Don't remove them. Don't remove carbs. Make sure that all of the foods that you enjoy, particularly the denser calorie stuff, is in your diet. Factor it in each day if you need to, or maybe two to three, maybe even four times a week. There is nothing wrong with having a Mars bar. Put it in your diet, enjoy it, and that way your diet is gonna be Number five, sustainability. The most important thing when it comes to any kind of diet that you do, make sure that all of the above and all of the things I've already mentioned are sustainable. Make sure that you can actually stick to your diet because if you don't stick to it, if you can't plan your meals, if you can't prep your meals, if you can't have a backup option, you can't do any of these things, then guess what? You're gonna fail and you're gonna fall off your diet and you're gonna go right back to the way of eating you were before. So, make sure everything you do is from a say, sustainable perspective, and I guarantee you'll see success. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, folks. Please feel free to tap this button. There's not actually a button when I'm stood in front of my camera, but when this is on Facebook, there'll be a button. It says share. Can you give that a tap so your friends on your newsfeed see it as well? Feel free to write a caption like, oh my God, this video is amazing. This guy knows his stuff. Anything along those lines. But hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one. Best of luck. Yeah. <laughs>